batter up everyone. It's How to Cake It Tuesday. It's day one of the World Series, a super exciting time. You may be wondering why I'm still wearing a Blue Jays hat, because even though the Blue Jays didn't make it, Toronto is still super proud of our team. Guys, I'll save you some cake. You did good. I'm making a big baseball inspired cake filled with beer nuts and popcorn and pretzels and candy and a special cake topper if you wait to the end. Two strikes, she needs a home run. the wrong way. <laughs> I don't think they run all the bases with their bat in hand. Do they? For all the step-by-step -step instructions, ingredients, and tools to make this World Series cake, head to howtocakeit.com or click the link in the description below. To make my World Series mega cake, I have baked two eight inch square vanilla cakes and dyed one red and one blue. If you wanna try my vanilla cake recipe, you can get it at howtocakeit.com or click the link in the description below. It's a great cake base for coloring. Whenever I color cakes, I get a little nervous because they always caramelize on the outside and on top. So sometimes they don't look the way you think they're gonna look. Like I know you're thinking, that's not a blue cake, that's a green cake. But when I cut it open, you're gonna see that it's blue. I'm gonna remove these cakes from my pan and then I'm gonna level and layer them. Ready? Woohoo! Nice bright red cake. So I'm gonna make sure to cut off the caramelization on the bottom of the cake as well. I'm also gonna cut off the caramelization on the sides of the cake. And now I'm gonna layer this cake into two layers in half this way. Are we ready? Boy, is it blue. My cakes are leveled, layered, and trimmed, but they're not shaped yet. I'm gonna make this World Series cake in the shape of a home plate. I cut this template for myself just out of cardboard and I'm gonna use it to trim my cakes into a pentagon. Just place your template on your cake and then cut off these triangles on either side. More cake scraps. We have four layers of cake in the shape of a home plate. Two are red, two are blue. I'm gonna quickly clean up my cake scraps. Chet, can you help me with that? Just scoop them into my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. And then we're gonna fill this World Series cake with World Series snacks. I have my Italian meringue buttercream ready to go. I've got caramel corn, beer nuts, pretzels, Smarties, and jelly beans, everything that I would wanna eat at a baseball game. And cake, of course. I'm gonna start by soaking my cake layers in simple syrup. This is just gonna really help keep these cakes moist as we decorate them. Don't forget, you can buy this handy bottle on my website, howtocakeit.com. So I'm gonna put a blue layer down first, and then what I'm gonna do is spread a thin layer of buttercream onto this layer. I wanna make sure that all my baseball snacks stay contained within each layer of cake. So I'm gonna build a little buttercream fence. I'm just filling a piping bag with a number 807 round tip with some Italian meringue buttercream. Just take your piping bag and pipe a nice fence all the way around all five sides of your cake layer. Now that I have my fence, I'm going to toss all my little treats inside the fence. Mmm, tasty. Buy me some peanuts and cracker jacks. Something I hope that they never get back. Why would they never get back? <laughs> I'm gonna toss on some jelly beans. Just wanna fill up this whole fence. So before I put on my next layer, I'm just gonna pipe a few dots of buttercream so that my next layer will stick. Now I'm gonna spread a thin layer of buttercream once again onto my red layer. Before I add my next buttercream fence, I'm actually gonna clean up the previous fence. I'm just gonna use an offset spatula and I'm just gonna wipe that line, like a nice clean line. Time for more treats. Mmm. Good treats. The treats are for the cake. There's plenty of treats to go around. I'm 
topping this cake off with my last layer of red layer. Hey, blue crumb, get out of here. Just gonna neaten up my fence. I'm gonna chill this cake for half an hour before we move on to the next step of decorating. My cake is chilled. I just wanna add a buttercream layer right on the top before I add my special cake topper. I'm gonna spread a little buttercream a nice even layer and this time I'm gonna take it right to the edge doesn't have to be perfect and then I want to do the same thing on the side that I did to all the layers so I'm just gonna smooth the edge and just use your palette knife to pull the excess buttercream in toward the center of the cake my home plate cake is looking great but home plates don't stay clean they're only clean before the game begins I think I mixed graham crumbs and cocoa to get this edible dirt. And I'm just gonna dirty up my home plate, basically. I don't usually like to dirty things on purpose. <laughs> just arrange your dirt on your home plate. I'm a professional dirt arranger. I believe everything can be arranged. I'm really happy with the dirt on my home plate, but I think I wanna shave the cake a little on the sides to just define the stripes a little bit more and clean it up. Just a very, very minute amount because I don't want to start to see all of our candies and snacks fall out. My cake is nicely trimmed, like it's rustic. It was out on the field. This is baseball. There's no crying in baseball. I gotta stop making like these old references that I know half of you don't get. If you get that reference, let me know. I don't get that reference. A league of their own! Oh, right, right, right. Tom Hanks, Gina Davis, Madonna. Oh my gosh. Sorry. I'm gonna put this baseball cake on a stand. I think it's ready for my special cake topper. What else did you think I would put on top of a World Series cake? A baseball cake. This is just a round cake I baked in a sphere pan. I covered it in white fondant and then I did all the stitch detail with a template and some red royal icing. If you wanna make this baseball cake yourself, go to howtocakeit.com. There's a link in the description below. All the step-by-step -step instructions are there and I'll tell you how I did it. Now I need to pick up this ball and put it on home plate. Okay, I think this cake needs a few more snacks. It's gonna pile some more snacks right on the top around the baseball. I win the World Series of Cakes! This is my kind of World Series. Do baseball players do like their victory dance? Is that what they do? Or do they, do? no, they do like, right? It's always snack time on how to cake it. And especially today. Whoa. It's a home run. Batter up guys, this is how to cake it. 